So I published a, another case series. Here's three patients from my clinic, just when one student was there. A1Cs of 12 going to six off of insulin. They didn't lose much weight. This group lost about eight pounds on average. And this was a big deal when I went to go get it published. They're like, you can't say that it's not without weight loss. They lost eight pounds. I'm like, yeah, they lost one point of A1C per pound. That's a freaking miracle. And since then, we have more data now. This is a meta-analysis showing that there's a linear association between A1C and carbohydrate intake, which we all could have known. In fact, all of your patients knew that on their N equals 1 experiment with the CGM. So the convention is just wrong. It's just wrong. Here's the convention again. Keto dieters raise LDL because of saturated fat. Who's heard that? Right? Well, in my clinic, we've seen some of the largest LDL drops documented in the medical literature. And we published it. A 480 drop in LDL. 223 drop in LDL. And they didn't change their saturated fat intake. 480 point decrease. And I'm sure the cardiologists in the room will know about the latest and greatest drugs. This is a drug uh, called Repatha. Has anybody heard of Repatha? The front row may know of it. But uh, Repatha, which is a $10,000 an injection drug, lowers LDL by 60 points. It's a billion dollar valuation. Nobody's given me a billion dollar valuation yet, as far as I'm aware. So we have a documented nutritional therapy in the medical literature, most seen ever, better than the best drug. Should we trust the convention? The convention says that a uh, Mediterranean diet is better than a keto diet. Have you heard that? A Mediterranean diet is a keto diet. This is Dr. Tro and Dr. Eric Westman working together to write a letter to the editor. What they did in this publication, this is Gardner, who uh, Dr. Andreas uh, talked about in his uh, diet fits study. Dr. Gardner, what he did was very interesting. In diet fits, he equalized the arms by telling everybody to drop sugar and flour, the highest glycemic carbohydrates. And what he did in this study was very manipulative. He said, we're going to compare keto, we're going to compare Mediterranean, and what we're going to do is, if you're in the keto arm, stop all your diabetes medications. And if you're in the Mediterranean arm, stop 50%. And then when he went to go publish his findings, he said, see, there's no difference between keto and Mediterranean. The A1Cs are equal. We had a good uh, talk earlier about selection bias. We don't hear that against the convention. We hear it against low carb. We're biased. We're focused. We're not considering other theories. I'm not sure the convention is doing that either.